welcome back to yet another video on the channel and today's video is a little bit odd um, today we're going to be going over two of the latest offshore trips that I've took and neither of them have been very great um, but they've been interesting and they've been weird so we're going to hop straight into the first day's intro hey guys welcome back to another episode of Boneworks Outdoors and today we are out here 30 miles off the coast fishing for some monster tuna and uh, the only goal for today is to catch a tuna, obviously, but also not to end up like this guy. Uh, looks like he got a little bit happy with the sparklers. And not so good for him, definitely. Everybody's all right, though, so that's the good part, but let's get straight into the fishing. All right, so now the rest of that day, we literally didn't catch anything. So we fished for pretty much the rest of that day. We went out, I mean, pretty close to the dump, probably like 40, 45 miles out. And we saw that boat burn down. And then after that, the tuna came up like once or twice and then they were gone. It was literally for 10 seconds. Couldn't even get the boat over there fast enough and they were gone. So nothing really happened that day. So we went home. Now the second clip that you'll see is from the second day that we went offshore. Now this second day is not in my boat, it's in my dad's buddy's boat. And we went out with those guys and uh, they're pretty much of the same experience as us. Not great, but pretty good. Um, so we went out in that boat. And uh, so I'll, th I'll roll some dolphin clips from that. That was pretty sweet. So in that clip, there's just more dolphins and everything like that. And uh, that was cool to see again. But usually whenever you see dolphins, that usually means there's tuna underneath of them sometimes whenever they're feeding and they looked like they were feeding, but there was no tuna in this case. So we were trolling with swimmers and everything. We went by a buoy. Now, I've never caught a mahi-mahi. I've only fished around Martha's Vineyard and I've also fished in the Bahamas, but we've never really caught mahi-mahi. So we went by a buoy and we hooked up and we're like, what is that? Is that a piece of seaweed? Hooked it up, so this clip right here. This is how fast we were going last time. Holy shoot. Let's fish on. Oh. Got him. Oh, we get over here. next, buddy. There's a, it's the same fish. Same fish, it's literally. Same I watched him take it. Yeah. They're so tiny, but they're cool. They're so small. About a smaller. Even smaller. <laughs> They're cool. Good to go. That's so cool. So pretty, huh? That one didn't have many colors. So then, after that, we went by the um, buoy a couple more times, nothing else. So then we moved farther east below Nantucket. Kept going, try it, see if there's something out there. We went over there, saw more dolphins again, and 
mixed in with the dolphin group, which is the weirdest thing I've ever seen, was there was a sh blue shark running with them, right on top, right on the surface. Usually there's like makos on the surface or something like that, but there was a blue shark. And we ran it like over accidentally, like we didn't even see it. As you guys can see from this clip right here. We were all paying attention to the dolphins when we looked and up to the front of the boat saw this right here. Blue shark right on the surface. We weren't paying attention because we were all looking at the dolphins and so we saw it at the last second, but it was pretty cool, super out of the usual. Now this bucket was literally in the most random place ever. It was way offshore, and as you can tell from my voice, I was crazy about it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, there's scup. There's literally like 300 scup underneath that bucket. There's literally one single part of shade in this whole entire like 30 miles of ocean. Every single fish is under it. Look at that, that's nuts. <laughs> Never seen that before, dude. All right, so now that we're all caught up, it was a, a pretty decent day overall. I mean, I've never caught a mahi-mahi before, so that was cool to catch. I don't know why I keep voice cracking, but that was really super cool to catch. They're so cool to see. Um, but we learned that there's literally, if you catch one mahi-mahi one off a buoy, there's like 30,000. And we, we didn't know that because we never caught them before. And uh, so we were at like the tackle store and they're like, you're an idiot, blah, blah, blah. You should have stayed out there, well, yada, 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 whatever. So next time, which will be in this next trip, we're going out. Hopefully there's some good weather so we can go out. But we're going to find that same buoy and we're going to slam them. So till the next video, I will see you guys later. So that will be the last video that I post on Martha's Vineyard, except for this cooking video that I have, which will be posted sometime this week, probably midweek. But the next video you see, I will be in Ohio doing something there. I'm going back there for the school year. I come up here for the summer. And uh, so I'll be going back there to do some cool stuff in Ohio. So always remember, if you're new uh, to the channel, please subscribe and uh, hit that like button if you like this video.